Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. So starting off I just wanted to let you all know for those of you who don't know I am 24 weeks pregnant today and for those of you who do know then you've obviously been keeping track and know that I'm 24 weeks pregnant. So I was actually 24 weeks pregnant yesterday but I actually didn't film yesterday. So lazy yesterday. Oh my god let me talk about that. But anyways, just before I do, I just want to let you all know that I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant plus one, which means one day. So time has been going by so fast, like next week I will be, in six days I will be 25 weeks pregnant, oh my god that's crazy. But now I'm currently 24 weeks and I just have 16 weeks remaining, which is just literally mind blown, I cannot explain how I've been feeling about this whole pregnancy, how it's been going by so fast and I'm just so looking forward to meeting her at this stage and I just want her out. So yeah, I've had many apps on my tablet and they're really helpful, for, so for those of you who don't have them downloaded already, you should definitely check those out because they are a great reminder that your little one will be here with you all soon, very, very soon. Um, I actually have like so many baby apps they're like baby countdowns, etc. So on. So yeah, um, I actually am so excited to share more baby hauls with you all because this morning I woke up and I got more deliveries for her. Oh my god, I cannot get enough of the shopping. That never stops to be fair. Um, once you turn pregnant, you're obviously going to want to shop for your baby and you're just going to be penniless every week. But yeah, they're so worth it. They're worth it 100%. So I just want to explain to you all how I've been feeling this week like I always do and then I'm going to read out some helpful information to let you all know where you are at with your baby and where I'm at also which is really interesting because I, re I love to read like where I'm at with my pregnancy every week for me and also it relates to you guys also so I said I would read it out like the past couple of weeks I've been like mentioning a lot on my you know how your baby is doing also and I thought that would be really good to throw in and let you all know how your babies are doing also. So yeah before I read out some information I just wanted to let you all know how I've been feeling so all this week I'm not gonna lie my routine change there has been a huge change but I've been literally like I've been sleeping in longer and I've been going to bed later but that's all down to this because I never stop watching movies but I do think I'm relaxing more and I think I hate like I hate the kind of lifestyle that I'm at now I kind of like my sleeping pattern and all that I think is kind of messed up at the minute but I don't know if it's the change of the weather or whatever I just think that you know it's really bad I don't like it I wake up every morning and I'm still half asleep, you know what I mean? And I actually, it's gone to the stage now where I just, anytime I wake up, I go back to sleep, which I would never do before. Like before, like maybe two weeks ago, I wake up and I, like, I, once I wake up, I wouldn't go back to sleep. But now it's like, wake up, go back to sleep. So yeah, I'm finding myself gone really lazy. And I don't know if it's just a part of pregnancy, like, I still am super active. I'm really, really active. I can't get over how active I am like do you know what I mean it's actually mind blown everyone says it to me how are you always up how are you so fit like there's no back pain like I barely get an ache and that rib pain that I have is kind of easing off it's not as bad so thank god that has eased off my hair is still falling out but not as bad as you can see I still haven't covered my, colored my hair but I'm trying to avoid that for a bit because I do Imagine if I do my roots, which I only do, and um, my hair is just going to give away and I do not want that, oh my god. But yeah, I will dye my hair eventually, but I'm just trying to keep away from the bleach as long as possible. Um, my bladder literally is like a full-time job. It's like she thinks my, my bladder is a cushion because she never stops leaning on it and I literally need to go to the bathroom 24-7 it's like I might as well just live on the toilet seat because it's just gone to a stage now where I need to go to the bathroom always um, 
any time I wake up in the morning, I actually run to the bathroom and there's no waiting. I literally, when I need to go, I need to go. And it's like, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it's really a lot to take in. It's a lot of changes in your body. My appetite is still majorly increased. Super happy with that because obviously you want a good appetite and you want to get all your nutrients and good foods into your body. Um, because your baby is also going to be sharing those foods with you all. Um, I'm actually like always drinking fluids that's so good to, for you but I imagine like I obviously used to drink them before my pregnancy but now it's like I constantly want a drink nearby so I can just you know and um, I suppose that's really good as well but yeah so nothing really has changed guys I kind of feel like the same but I do like the tiredness uh it's kind of drifting but I do get tiredness like throughout today as well but it doesn't feel like as it did in the first trimester because as you guys know I was so bad for the tiredness like I was like a dead horse throughout the first trimester so I'm really happy that's that that's kind of drifting but I don't know what it is the past week is kind of hitting me more about the whole labour situation and I'm like shitting it I actually am shitting it and when the baby's here I'm probably gonna look back and laugh at this video but I'm just giving my honest thought and opinion to labour. I am shitting it. I'm shitting in case, I'm shitting in case like I have a section, I'm gonna be left with a big scar, like what would be the after effects of that, um, the labour, how I will get on, will I be long in labour? Like all these thoughts are running in through my head all this week and it's just so scary, but yeah, I'll get through it I suppose. It's natural, it's nature, and everyone has to go through it I suppose. Whoever wants it, that be. But yeah guys, um, I've been feeling grand and the tiredness just kind of a little bit there. Um, my hair is kind of getting stronger I think because it's not coming out as much as I spoke a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, I have energy. I do, like there's days where I literally, like I'm, I, I don't know what I'm, I'm like a robot. And there's other days where I just feel a bit like, oh, I'm not able to do that. But it's kind of like throughout your pregnancy it's a different feeling altogether like when you're tired you're tired that tiredness is different then when you've energy you're so energetic you do things out of the extraordinary like I already spoke which is super weird and you're probably thinking what's she going on about but yeah you kind of have to be in the situation to know where I'm coming from and yeah it's just by far the best feeling ever guys and at this stage like I'm becoming closer and closer to meeting her and I just cannot wait Um, it's so so exciting and I just can't wait to hold her in my arms and have her forever and share so many memories with her it has to be the best feeling by far guys Um, kicks this week like she's been super active since the last time she kind of went a bit off for two days but yeah her kicks are even stronger like a hundred times stronger now I always feel her wobbling and it's like I know, I always say it, but I know her pattern. It's so weird when you're pregnant, you know where your baby's at, and yeah. But yeah, guys, um, that's it really. So I'm just going to look at my mobile device right now and keep you all tuned about your babies because that's also important. And I also keep track of this, and it's for all you mummies to be. So if you're 24 weeks pregnant, then keep on track. And keep tuned. So the website that I'm using is called www.babycenter.com. One sec now. So I'm just going to read out a few. I'm not going to jab on too much. Just important facts because I have noticed in my videos I have been jabbing on too much and it kind of led to all these weird things about sex and yeah. I don't need to hear any of that but yeah how is your baby growing so your baby is growing steadily having gained about four ounces since last week that puts him at about one and one third of pounds since he's almost a foot long about the length of an ear of corn he cuts a pretty lean figure at this point but his body is filling out proportionally and he'll soon start to plump up. 
His brain is also growing quickly now and his taste buds are continuing to develop. His lungs are developing branches of the respiratory tree as well as cells that produce surfactant, a stubs substance that will help his air sacs inflate once he hits the outside world. His skin is still thin and transultant but that will soon start to change. Your baby is about the size of an ear of corn. So this is just an image here. Um, the size of your babies at 24 weeks. Um, how's your life changing? In the past few weeks, the top of your uterus has risen above your belly button and is now the size of a soccer ball. <laughs> Most women have glucose screening tests, also called the glucose challenge test or GCT, between now and 28 weeks. This test checks for gestational diabetes, a pregnancy related high blood sugar condition. So I won't shove on too much about that because that's the unexpected. I don't really like fancy reading that because I don't think it's important for me. Keep everything like that away. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to scroll down and see if there's any more helpful information. Um, so... That's it really guys. So I just want to let you all know something and it's been playing up my mind for so long. So there are just important facts about the size of your baby and about your uterus, your belly has grown. So I just want to let you all know that you're, you're 24 weeks pregnant like me. Um, if you are watching this and if you're pregnant because the title says I'm 24 weeks. But yeah, um, if you're 24 weeks pregnant you're probably wondering. God forbid, if you went into labour right now, would your baby live? There is a possibility your baby would live at this stage of pregnancy, which is tremendous because obviously you have them thoughts, like once you're past the three months, you're safe. And that's like you're 99% safe out of 100, which is a high factor and yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, there hasn't really been much changes, but yeah, hopefully it kind of stayed that way because I don't really want to complain because I have like been getting a lucky escape like I've been told already, but yeah, I hope it stays that way. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I hope you all, you mummies to bees, are keeping well and I hope that you keep updated with my videos because I know I've been making them every week but and they can, they can be boring. But they're just really nice to look back on and my journey is going to be tremendous. I take pictures every week of my tummy and I will be doing a video at the end of my pregnancy on that. So for those of you who keep it updated, make sure and stay tuned. And for those of you who aren't subscribed, then you totally should down below and turn on your bell for future updates. And also you'll be reminded every week that I have this video uploading. Like every week I do a pregnancy update. So yeah guys, I hope this video was helpful. Um, leave it a love heart if you watched it and enjoyed it. So yeah, just spread some love. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe till next time. Bye.